Good morning guys, welcome to our channel, Automation Academy. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Our topic for today, National Electrical Code Part 20. Question number 1. A high lead conductor in a three-phased four-wire delta secondary shall be which of the following colors? A. White B. Orange C. Green D. Black Correct answer is B. Orange Question number 2 Conductor sizes are listed in which of the following? A. Circular mills B. Diameter or thickness C. AWG or millimeters D. AWG or circular mills Correct answer is D. E. W. G. or circular mills. Question number three. Choose the answer below that is not an approved means of mounting electrical equipment to a masonry wall. A. Using screws that are driven into wooden plugs in the wall. B. Using bolts that are supported by metal plates on the back side. C. Using molly bolts through holes drilled completely through the wall. D. Using lug bolts screwed into lead masonry anchors. The answer is A. Using screws that are driven into wooden plugs in the wall. Question number four. The clear work space on one side of equipment with exposed light parts which operates at 600 volts nominal or less to ground and which will require examination adjustment or maintenance shall be at least a width of the following a 12 inches wide b 24 inches wide c 3 30 inches wide d 2 times the width of the panel correct answer is c 30 inches wide question number five if a conductor materials is not specified in a particular article or section the material shall be assumed to be which of the following a copper b aluminum c copper clad aluminum d no assumptions shall be made correct answer is a copper question number six Concrete and brick walls are considered which of the following? A. Dry locations B. Insulators C. Weight locations D. Grounded Correct answer is D. Grounded Question number 7 When mounting electrical equipment, wooden plugs driven into plaster may be used A. True B. False Correct answer is B. Question number 8. Voltage to ground of 150 to 600 with exposed alive parts on both sides of the working space must have a clear distance not less than which of the following? A. 2 feet B. 2.5 feet C. 3 feet D. 4 feet Quick answer is D. 4 feet Question number 9. Unless otherwise specified, light parts for electrical equipment operating at 50 volts or more shall be guarded. A. True. B. False. Quick answer. A. True. Question number 10. In order to be electrically secure prior to soldering, Splices must be which of the following? A. Sanded B. Joined mechanically C. Free of rough edges D. Coated with flux Correct answer is B. Joined mechanically Question number 11 Entrances to guarded locations containing exposed live parts shall be marked with warnings that are which of the following? A. Conspicuous B. Universal C. At least 6 inches square Correct answer is A. 
and spices. Question number 12. If the cover for an underground pool box used for circuits over 600 volts is not locked, bolted, or screwed into place, then it must be way equal to which of the following? A. 25 pounds B. 50 pounds C. 75 pounds D. 100 pounds Correct answer is a D. 100 pounds Question number 13 Ventilation system electrical controls shall be installed in manner in which the airflow can be managed in which of the following ways A. Vented to the outside B. Reverse C. Limited upon demand D. Prevented Correct answer is B. Reversed Question number 14 Often, equipment and terminations are labeled with which of the following? A. The initial of the installer B. Service tag C. Tightening torque D. Wiring designations the answer is C. Tightening torque. Question number 15. The fire rating for walls, floors, and doors containing equipment over 600 volts nominal shall be a minimum of which of the following? A. 1 hour, B. 2 hours, C. 3 hours, D. 6 hours. Correct answer is C. 3 hours. Question number 16. Voltage to ground of 150 to 600 with exposed alive parts on one side of the workspace and grounded parts, such as concrete, brick, or tile walls, on the other side must have a minimum clear distance of at least which of the following? A. 12 inches B. 24 inches C. 36 inches D. 42 inches. Correct answer is D. 42 inches. Question number 17. The elevation for unguarded light parts in a working space for equipment operating between 601 to 7500 nominal volts between phases is which of the following? A. 3 feet. B. 6 feet. C. 9 feet. A D. 12 feet. Correct answer is C. 9 feet. Question number 18. Unused raceway or cable openings in boxes and conduits must be closed so that the protection provided is which of the following? A. At least equal to the protection provided by the wall of the box or conduit. B. Equal to the deep of the wall framing C greater than the protection provided by the box or conduit alone D adequate to act as a fire stop correct answer is A at least equal to the protection provided by the wall of the box or conduit question number 19 high voltage conductor tunnel installations required metal conduit or metal raceways and which of the following? A. Type MC cable B. Aluminum conductors C. Copper clad aluminum conductors D. AMT cable Correct answer is A. Type MC cable Question number 20 The minimum clear working space deep for equipment over 75 kV nominal volts to ground with exposed or live parts on both sides is which of the following a 3 feet b 6 feet c 10 feet d 12 feet correct answer is d 12 feet question number 21 the minimum clear head room for workspace around service equipment switch boards panel boards or motor control centers must be which of the following a. 3 feet B. 4 and a half feet C. 6 and a half feet D. 10 feet
correct answer is C, six and a half feet. Question number 22. The work space for equipment must allow 90 degree opening of any equipment doors or hence panels. A. True. B. False. Correct answer is A. True. Question number 23. Voltage to ground of zero dust 150 with exposed alive parts on one side of the workspace and no live or grounded parts on the other side must have a minimum clear distance of which of the following a 1 foot b 2 feet c 3 feet and d 42 inches correct answer is c 3 feet question number 24 circuits with 100 amperes or less or with 14 awg to one AWG conductors can only be used for conductors rate at which of the following? A. 55 degrees Celsius or 131 degrees Fahrenheit B. 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit C. 75 degrees Celsius or 167 degrees Fahrenheit D. 80 degrees Celsius or 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Correct answer is B. 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Question number 25. The floor of a vault for electrical equipment with either a vacant space or additional floors below it shall have a minimum fire resistance of which of the following? A. 1 hour B. 3 hours C. 6 hours D. 12 hours Correct answer is B. 3 hours And that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe to our channel Automation Academy. And comment down below and don't forget to share the love. Thank you for watching guys. Bye bye.